Previously during the investigation, these puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenland. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. Call me George. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? My coffee warned me. It's broken. I've been using that one for a long time. Why don't you get it repaired? This TV is important to you, right? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? Of course she did. Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies, too. I've never been to a movie theater, though. <sighs> yep. Uh, God damn, man. Alright. Sugar donut. Why not? Hell. Um. Do I just go through the door? She. Go. Okay? Yeah? Uh. Uh huh. Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. You, you got it, kid. Who are you? That is huge. Zack, the symbolism in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees. A carpet with red leaves.
a strange doll, and twin angels. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. For now, we need coffee. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I really need some coffee. Then we can head to the sheriff's office. There's a proper procedure for everything, right, Zach? Y yeah. Yeah, 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 coffee, yeah. All right, all right. Oh, he oh, oh, he has different suits. Put on the red one. There you go, buddy. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Much better. And uh, this is, uh, we don't need to sleep. We just woke up. Oh, I, I, I meant, oh, okay. I, I kind of wanted to just check my messages, but apparently I don't have any because, yeah. And this is for inventory. Gotcha. All right, uh, well, yeah. Oh, this is the bathroom. I can shave? Riveting gameplay. I got more... Cool. Uh huh. I'm, I'm optimistic. I'm, I'm very optimistic. I, I think there is potential here, to be found. I have. I played Rule of Rose. I, I can do this. I believe in myself. Yeah. This place is, absolutely huge for being in such a small town. I don't want snacks. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. Just Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes. Yes. It's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. Aside from you and me, there seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You've been working here alone since then. Must be hard by yourself. Oh my, we're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. So early in the day, too. I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly. I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> now tell me, that wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. 
I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zack, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah? Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Greenvale. It rains here quite often, but it's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Uh -huh. Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Well, there aren't many. It is a small town, after all. You can do most of your shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The A&T Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If you want to go to a bar, there are two. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. I don't care much for either of them. Bars are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand, of course, the art gallery, and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Thank you, Polly. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. I understand. I'll be right back with it. I love Polly. Did you see that, Zack? Clear as a crisp spring morning. F. K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. Never fails. Now then, let's get going. What? What? <laughs> I... What? Uh, Polly, you have a good time. Thank you for your hospitality. I got go though, so you um, you take it easy. Uh huh. Thanks. Okay. A police car. Boom, 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 Ba, ba, ba. So, we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin.
I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. <gasps> I actually get to drive? That's a thing here? Aw, oh, dude. Brisky. Hell yeah. Okay. So, right. Uh, I, I got it. Master key. Okay. Thank you. Oh my god, it's... Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. This is going to end so badly. <laughs> This is the best fucking game. It's got this amazing charm about it. In the worst way. I don't know if I want to do a Yui or not. I'll figure it out. I'll do- oh, oh shit! Okay, it's okay. It's alright. Oh, alright. The car actually has health. I gotta be careful of that. I wonder if I could change the radio. So, Zach. About those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DeBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels and the original was re-released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never have a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily. It's just something special about this. I don't know why. building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Ham. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Your eyebrows, they're so f lush. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent, Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type. 
totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Holy shit. Thomas runs very well. What is this about? Oh, saving point. Swell. Uh, you? Oh. Hey, Tommy. Uh, I'm gonna go check this first. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, I've seen these before. Which sounds weird. But yeah, video games, man. Really can't seem to find that key. What should I do? The sheriff's is gonna be happy, not happy. It has a southern flying squirrel key holder attached to it. You haven't seen it, have you? No. I'll go look, though, but good luck, Thomas. I guess I'll just look around for the southern flying squirrel key. Hmm. I'll pretty much just look for anything sparkly. No. You. Got it. Oh, that's a cute little keychain. Alright. Thomas, I saved your hide. You're not gonna get fired today. Maybe tomorrow, though. Agent York, did you, did you find the key? Uh, yeah. You found the key. I think so. Is this it? Ah, uh, you don't know your squirrels, do you? This isn't the right key holder. Oh. This is a Siberian flying squirrel. It's closer to a land-based squirrel. The Siberian flying squirrel is larger than the southern flying squirrel and has a standing tail while the southern has a hanging tail. But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. You sure do know a lot about squirrels. Okay, squirrels, gotcha. Shit. Do you guys know where squirrels are? This person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Yeah, most likely. Uh, downstairs then? Here? Hmm, oh. I, it's probably not in here. Most likely anyway. Oh, do I have my pipe still? Yes! Busted. Good job. Ammo. Well, they saved me some money, I guess. Here's a shooting range. Oh, hi. Hmm, that might be it. It has the, the non high tail or hang, hanging tail. I think that's what it was. I don't know. I don't know my squirrels as well as Thomas. Hey there, man. Um, I'm gonna go check over here, okay? Uh, any of these cells? These prisoners look very sad. Oh, here we go. Grab that and this. Kirby tailed flying scroll. Okay, so I just got a lot of flying scroll keys. I don't know why they had to keep on just with the scroll theme. They could have made this a lot easier by like, maybe we can have a panda on this one. Maybe a lemur for this one, you know? They just made this difficult. What is this? Oh. I could sleep in the cell. Okay. Fire exit. Nah. Uh, I think I could check this. The lack of any ambience is very off-putting. Gray squirrel keys? That's not a southern flying squirrel at all. Yeah? What? What is this? Turkey sandwich? That looks disgusting! But I'll take it. I could... I could shave here? Fuck it. Alright, good. Looking well. Zack, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? What do you think, Zack? I... Probably, actually. That wouldn't surprise me. 
Unless he just wrote Arnold as in, like, he wants inspiration from Arnold Schwarzenegger, so every time he actually uses the dumbbell, he's like, I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. Maybe. Locker room. Where the hell is this key at? You? Long-tailed flying squirrel. Maybe. That one might be it. We'll see, though. Wait, was, was, grab it. Do it. I know you can do this. What? <laughs> what? It, nothing really happened. Okay, try this again. Okay. Well done. Get changed. There we go. Alright, Thomas, we'll be there in a second. I want to check over here first before committing to b this being the squirrel. You know, there's a lot of squirrels out there, and I don't want to be wrong. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of my new friends, so... I don't want to be that guy. Hi, George! Uh. George, uh. do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zack. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. Oh. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone dumbbells. I really like you. You... this is literally... okay. I have... found... Arnold. Did... did, did you want something? I... I, I believe you did. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed, but I got him to come back. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Huh? Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. picture of your dumbbells. So that makes us even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zack, he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. Hi. Hello. Can I bust this? No. Probably for the better. But still, man. I don't know what to think about this. It's a very weird situation. Emily, do you want to hang? Hi. Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? Sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why, what's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet of the files. He asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. Thanks. You're really helpful, Emily. Have a good day. Conference room? No. Uh, how about... this room? Are you... Oh, this is the other side of the conference room. You! Uh-huh. Rain early in the morning and evening. Let's work quickly today. Okay. This is like a life simulator, but kind of more oriented on coffee, shaving, and just hanging out at the police station. I have a feeling I don't want to be here. Alright, I am guessing I have the key now, so I'm going to go see Tommy. I have a feeling this one's probably it. You found the key. I hope so. F 
fuck? Uh, no, this is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. The sugar glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? This one. You found the key. That's the right one? Yes! Yes! A southern flying squirrel. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here and we've cracked a big case already. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just recently graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived with her mother, Sally. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. Where in town can I get these? Well, actually... I... Well... I... I baked them myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Oh, man. This is a magical piece of game. It really is.